So our, our next speaker um, is Ellie Emerson, who is the Head of Sales Development from Fresh Relevance. Um, she's going to be talking about understanding the four Fs and why they are key for success. Um, so in, in terms of her uh, background, um, she spent a number of years traveling the world as part of the Women's Tennis Association before taking the leap into the SaaS world. Um, she actually also landed her first role um, through Venetrix in 2020, quickly moved from an SDR to a team lead, and now she's um, responsible for um, the sales development function at Fresh Relevance, which is a MarTech uh, SaaS platform um, working across um, e-commerce brands um, to create personalization across different channels. Um, she's got a top performing group of people in her team. Um, she's one of the individuals I've heard spoken about a lot this year, so it's great that we could get her on the stage. Here she is. Round of applause. Ellie, you're up. Can everyone hear me okay? Can everyone hear me okay? Yeah, awesome. Perfect. So, uh, as James mentioned, we have got seven minutes. Um, so, seven minutes to leave you with something actionable that you can take away from today and hopefully uh, put into practice in some capacity. So, rather than tell you my life story or lecture you about the importance of relevancy in your emails, instead, I'm going to talk to you about the four Fs when it comes to motivation and why I believe understanding these is integral to your success. The SDR role is becoming harder and harder than ever, even since I did it. Um, you know, if the global pandemic wasn't uh, challenging enough, we are now heading into a recession that's apparently set to last a couple of years. Um, so we have got our work cut out. Um, it's not just as simple as picking up the phone anymore. If you've been in SaaS longer than approximately five minutes, I'm sure you will have heard of the likes of Josh Braun, uh, Will Allred, uh, Morgan Ingram, to name a few. And your LinkedIn feeds will likely be inundated with uh, 10 ways to break through the noise or uh, whether you should try a permission-based opener or, or what have you. Um, my biggest piece of advice is to take everything that you see or read with a pinch of salt. And the reason I say that is because what works for me in my industry versus what works for you in yours are likely to be entirely different. Instead, I would urge you to think of prospecting like a science experiment. Uh, you should be changing one variable at a time. Uh, and reason being is if you don't do this, you have absolutely no way um, of measuring what it is in fact that, that's working versus what's not. Remember, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So definitely don't be afraid to switch things up uh, and try something new, but remember to always be patient. So what on earth are the four Fs and what am I talking about? Um, I find that in sales, people tend to be motivated by one, if not more, of four different things. Uh, does anyone want to hazard a guess of what those are? My team, please be quiet. <laughs> It's four Fs. <laughs> but love that. Love that. Yep. Money. Money? That's, again, still not an F. Come on, guys. I know we work in sales, but we still have brains. Come on. Finance, kind of. Focus. OK, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, hello. Here we are, Gabby Orlich. OK, I wanted to ask yourself this. What are you motivated by? Why do you do this job? And it's not just because you got a tutu, okay? Um, sorry, sorry. Some of us got two ones. The answers to these questions, the answers to these questions are really, really important for SDR managers to understand and get to grips with too. Um, because if you've hired correctly, your team will be entirely different and, and as such will be motivated by different things and therefore will require different management approaches, okay? Um, so, first off, Funnily enough, it begins with an F, uh, fear. So are you scared of failure, perhaps? Um, do you hit target because you are quite simply terrified of what might happen if you don't? Um, if this is you, you probably spend a considerable uh, amount of the month uh, stressing about underperforming. Um, and whilst I do believe this sort of fear culture has probably diminished in recent years, it is, it is still prevalent. Um, so whilst being motivated by fear does in fact work for some people, um, I would urge you to ask yourself, is this really right for you? Are you, are you, in the, you know, working in, in the right sort of uh, working culture for you? 
Then second, uh, we've got fame. So do you like your name up in big bright lights? Uh, do you, you like being the best? Do you like seeing yourself as first place on the leaderboard? Do you like winning? If the answer to these questions is yes, then you are most likely motivated in some capacity by fame. And then the big one, fortune. I'd hazard a guess that most people in this room are motivated by fortune. So money. That's what drives you. Uh, you. You like the fact that you know you get those commission checks. You like being able to recognize how much money you earn on a monthly basis. You like feeling that sense of accomplishment. And then lastly, we have family, which does tie in quite closely to fortune, but there's a bigger picture here. You're not doing it for you. Uh, you're doing it for your kids, if you're old enough to have them. Uh, you're doing it for your, your, your mum. You, you might want to buy her a car or whatever it might be. Um, so, Understanding, understanding what motivates you, and for the SDR managers in the room, understanding what motivates your team, is so crucial for you to be able to get the most out of both yourself and your team. Because then you can really start to kind of mould and shape the way that you practice your one-to-ones, so that you're kind of making sure that you're setting your team up for success in every, in every way. Take my team, for instance, who are all sat here in this very room, and they are a wonderful bunch. They pay me to say that. Um, they're all motivated by very different things. There are four of them in particular that are hugely motivated by fortune. So we take a competition, we add a monetary reward, and it is incredible what that does to uh, team morale, team incentive, and team performance. One quarter this year, we were particularly close to target. It was kind of all touch and go, all hands on deck. Um, but these sorts of kind of mini competitions really made the difference for us and really helped us with, those, with, uh, with, with hitting that target. What's important to note here, though, is that not everybody on my team is motivated by fortune. And therefore, I cannot rely on this solely by itself to get the most out of everyone. I have to constantly be thinking of different ways that are going to motivate each individual on my team. The SDR manager role has changed so much in the last five to 10 years. It's far less about control and much more about support, or it should be. Sales has in the past had a really bad rep of being purely a numbers game. But I am a firm believer that you get more with honey than you do with vinegar. Take the time to fully understand your team and put a plan in place to ensure that you are setting them up to succeed. We are no longer just managers. We are cheerleaders, we are coaches, confidants, therapists, motivators, and even a successful team will begin to crumble without that successful leadership. So remember, ultimately, SDR managers, you are the glue that holds it all together. Thank you. Woo!